Hello everybody, welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Thursday, January 18th, 2024. We are back with our NBA best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit the subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these NBA videos every single day along with the NFL, college, uh, college basketball, and NHL. We're also coming off big winning years in the MLB as well and college football. We're going after our first 15,000 subscribers, our first 11 months on YouTube. Really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap yesterday's results, uh, we had a great day. Went 3-0. and uh, Members only best bet was the Cavs plus 3.5. That was a winner. We had Lakers minus 3.5. That was also a winner. And we had the over 223 in Minnesota and Detroit. That was also a winner. So overall for the year, 162 and 120, 42 games over 500. And we have three picks today in the NBA. Uh, we have two I'm going to give you guys here on YouTube. We do have members only playing the NBA today, along with one in college basketball. You guys can get that at zdmbets.com slash picks. We have something in the comments below. Uh, but let's get into the plays that we have today. I'm going to start with our first play. It's going to be the Raptors plus two versus the Bulls. Um, the sharp money is on the Raptors here. And the fact is the Raptors, you know, listen, the Raptors have been kind of, um, they, they've been kind of ransacked with like the trades. I mean, they lost Siakam. They lost OG, and they still have Scotty Barnes, still have some good players here and there. They, they traded for, um, you know, what's called R.J. Barrett, who's okay. Bad contract, but he's an okay player, not great. But when you look at this team, though, the Raptors are at least at ease of, of what they are. And all these players know they're basically playing for jobs because they could be traded basically at any moment. And they they know what they are. They're not going to be competing for the playoffs this year, more than likely. They're not going to be, you know, really competing for championships at all, even close to that this year. So because of that, I think they're going to be at ease. They know exactly what they are. They're going to play loose. While we look at the Bulls, the Bulls don't know, like Zach Levine doesn't know if he's going to be on the Bulls today or he's going to be on the freaking 76ers tomorrow. Like, they don't really know. And these teams and these players, when it comes to Chicago, have been underwhelming at best the last two years in a row. Um, listen. Do the, do the Bulls have better players? Yes, but I think there's more uneasiness in that locker room. And also the sharp money days all over the Raptors, and I'm getting points at home. I'm going to roll the Raptors here, plus two versus the Bulls. And then we're going to go the over, 214 in Minnesota and Memphis. Memphis is seriously shorthanded when it comes to injuries. Jaws obviously hurt. But you know they, they've got injuries all over the place. And when you look at this team, I think Minnesota scores 130 points tonight. I, I really think they're going to. If they score 130 points tonight against this, I mean, they're going to go way over this number. This is very similar to how I felt about the um, Minnesota and Detroit game yesterday when it was over 223, which is leading too low. This number is way too low. And Memphis even has an okay offensive game. They're going to go way over this number. So I'm going the over 214, Minnesota and Memphis. Again, I, I think it's a little higher score than people think. I'm not, I don't really want to watch this game. The game's going to fucking suck, but I'm going to watch it just so I can get the so I can see my over. So I'm going to roll the over 214 in Minnesota and Memphis. Now, we will be posting the same game probably tonight because we have the free one on FanDuel. Uh, you can check it out on my Twitter. My Twitter is linked in the description below. Uh, but a quick recap we have. We have Rogers plus two, and we have over 214 in Minnesota and Memphis. So let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure you all check out those other videos.